Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val. In this video, I'm gonna do a demo of the Z uh, Z Gymnast Beauty Shape and Pose Mega Set for Genesis 8 and 8.1 by the famous Zedicus. Now, Zedicus has quickly became the go-to guy, at, you know, creating incredible pose packages, often with additional props or shapes for your models. This set looks really cool, and it also, besides the poses, it includes this uh, kind of morph package that, you know, uh, like a shape preset that changes the appearance of your figures. Now, I'm also going to show you one cool thing. These are really cool poses, by the way. Some look very uh, impossible for normal people to do, but they're nonetheless really, really cool. And you also can mix between you know, full body, lower body, upper body, and left and right arm and all that. So uh, you get a lot of options here. Um, very cool. All right, let's take this for a spin. So here we are inside Dash Studio and we have the Gaia character loaded inside my very own photo studio, which you can get for free. Uh, there was a link below this video. Now, one thing that happens when you get, you know, post packages from, from Daz is that they are often designed with either Genesis 8 base or, in this case, Zedekus creating an additional uh, body shape called beauty shape uh, so that you can use that as well. Now, the thing is, sometimes you have a character like this Gaia character, which I just adore, right? Because uh, she is so real. The thing is, sometimes you you want to use and apply your the, the post packages you, you know for your current character, and the issue is that sometimes your character will not have the same dimensions or arm length or arm thickness or leg thickness or thigh thickness and all that, right? So it will maybe not fit 100% exactly, and that will create a scenario where you need to retweak your poses. If you do not want to do that and still use your main character, then there is a cool tweak, which is something we can do right now here in the gymnast beauty thing, right? Uh, we got here uh, the body shape applied. Okay, so always when there is a character, most you know artists that create them have a shape. Or something you can apply to a character so we can use this character with the same textures all the you know um, the look she has but tweak her body slightly so that she will have the beauty shape and then work 100% you know kind of be compatible with the post set so what I'm gonna do is click on Gaia and click on apply this shape this would trim her body slightly uh, remove the curves. Uh, sorry, I love curves, but here we are. We have slightly less of those, right? And now she has that gymnast, uh, gymnast uh, beauty shape applied. So she will, when we now add the poses, they will fit 100%. All right, so let's go for full body. Uh, let's click on this one. So we got the base and the mirror, right? Let's see how that looks. And we have heels on right now, so it might be a little bit counterproductive if you're a gymnast. But these are so cool, and by all means, you don't have you don't have to use them for their original intended purpose. These were great as you know poses in a studio, especially if you if you want to do some more shocking stuff or cool stuff, right? So let's see if we got some one here. That one here is really cool. On the ground. Okay, we're gonna rotate that one a little bit. Uh, here, just towards the camera, 90. Up, oh, wrong, wrong direction. Let me go the other way, 270. Okay. 180. I want her to kind of face face the light. She's not really <laughs> want to do that. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna ditch the heels. 
sometimes when you add poses to heels, they can become a little bit deformed. And you know, most uh, artists that create shoes, like in this case is DX30. If you go to that folder um, over here uh, in the Palms 4, there is something called uh, foot set. So having the character selected, you can actually click on that to retweak the feet so that they work with heels. All right, so you can do that uh, to make them look better. But I'm gonna just ditch them for a second. So uh, I'm gonna undo that and just remove the feet. So we're gonna see how the feet are posed as well. Just remove the heels. There we go. And I'm gonna just go a little bit lower on the camera. This is a really cool pose. Um, hard to believe people can do something like that, sit like that. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my main light here. And uh, let's just do take your shady preview real quick. I'm gonna just reposition the light, right click up here to just remain the light where it is in current position and just use the filter to just get some cool lighting effect on that. This is a really cool pose. Now let's grab another one. There was one facing forward towards the camera. Um, you can see I've purchased pretty much all the Zedicus there is. I just love uh, the Zedicus products. As you can see, they are just amazing, incredible, and just makes life easier for you know um, because posing is is very it can be tricky if you're not using great poses that lack gravity or lack that female touch. Uh, then you know your renders will not look as realistic uh, as they can. So um, try to use post packages that really have uh, you know good quality. All right. So let me just go here and uh, try another one. Full body. So there was one that was going sitting and facing. My gosh. This one. This is a really cool one. So we can just back off the camera. Really cool pose. As you can see, these work very well in a studio setting, playing with, you know, um, like a studio session, right? And let me tweak the light a little bit here. Okay, maybe lower the light slightly. The filter will follow when you're lowering your light or moving it. Again, the studio set and the lights and the filters, you can get it for free. Uh, there's a link below this video. Now we are colliding with the camera. Let's not do that. I'm going to rotate that. Uh, I'm colliding with the camera again. And what I want to do is uh, create a cool effect. But what we can do is rotate that filter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here and just select the filter and rotate it so we get a different pattern across our character that's more suitable you can also zoom in this filter scale it so like change how it's you know affecting your model cool this this pose alone is such a cool you know um, incredible uh, almost surreal look because this is kind of difficult to do in in in, <laughs> in the real world right so back here we got plenty of other poses i'm not going to try them all we also have top poses basically the same poses you have here in the full body but they are just for the top of the character so you can blend the top and bottom in unique ways and that gives you virtually unlimited options same thing here left arm just from that pose can be applied and then you got right arm for you can apply from different pose so you can blend between all these and get virtually hundreds if not thousands of pose combinations and they look just amazing great stuff um i'd say i want to lower my, uh, my character is not really at zero she's kind of floating if you can see that right I drop her to zero so she really is on the ground 
I had her raised a little bit because she was wearing heels before and that you know adds to a character's height now she's resting on the ground and this is something I really love about Zedekus is the attention to weight distribution let me just zoom in you get you know the proper weight distribution let me just turn off camera that will feel proper weight distribution and great attention to detail when it comes to posing uh, every finger is bent you know in a specific way and it just makes the whole thing uh, look a lot more real and again I highly recommend all Zedekas you know post packages just because they just look amazing and you need to have that proper weight distribution and attention to detail when it comes to um, the smallest details right so let's run this video off by just looking at the uh, one more uh, quick pose here this one here my gosh that looks painful do not try this at home uh, unless you're a gymnast my gosh but look at the proper weight distribution and you know the feel of this uh, incredible pose so this is more like if you're looking for a little bit more edgy uh, weird stuff right um, unless you have a cool like a big giant gymnast hall um, but you're still these poses can still be used for a photo shoot scene uh, if you want that edgy look and uh, a little bit more weird stuff so I mean pair this with some weird hair and some outfit and you got some really cool uh, very odd renders to play with let me turn off back light and filler to make it a little bit more moody and there we go so guys that's pretty much the quick review of this particular set uh, which looks amazing so there is a link if you want this free studio there's a link below this video and there's also a link to this Zedicus product in the desk store as well pretty much that is all there is to it for this video guys thank you so much for watching have fun with your art and i see you next time bye bye